So let me share the screen now and we are going to begin the locator control. So the previous record on OCA, MC and then revision has got converted into MP4. So let me go there. Videos of that. One may be a lot control center. So right click on it, rename it. Rename it. Rename it. Seventeen to one is a lot control. Eighteen to one is what? Rename it. OCA, MCA, and then the revision. I will upload it in the night action. Okay. Now we are not going to the locator control action. So, what exactly is locator? So, if you are going to keep the item on the ground, it will be very difficult for you to what happens identify where exactly you can. So the average seek time, they call this a seek time. Seeking time is very low if you are not having a locator. If you are going to have an almera, if you're going to have a shelf, then what happens? We can easily locate it. So that is one advantage of a locator. The second advantage is what? The material handling damages will be very minimal. You won't be stacking it one over the other. So the metal hammer, they call them as a MHD, metal handling damages. So MHD will be very minimal as well as the average seek time will be excellent actually. So these are the two ones on which whatever the locator control works upon. So we have a document. We have a document here. So let us now open the document. Locator control. It's a tough one. Fine. Listen to it very clearly and then uh, whatever the ask me questions now. Fine. Locator control. So locator control is a document on fusion inventory documentation. Let me open it up. So locator control is at no four levels actually. So at the org level, if you give us a no control, then all the sub inventories will now behave like a no control. You know how it So let us now go there, click on it. So give a cancel now. So let us now go to the task and then go to the manage inventory or task. So go to the setup and maintenance. And then let me go to the task. So click on this one. There. So here yeah, I go to the task. I go to the generic area of the task. Now, click on it. I want to go to the what? Manage percentage. Inventory percentage. R percentage. Manage inventory R. So go to the place. Let me query my R now. <coughs> so R is what? A01. I'm query for it. And I'm querying for it. So select it and click on it. So go to the next and click on next. And then here if you see there are four levels of that. If it is a no control, all the sub inventories will be having a no locator control at all. Had it been a pre specified, that means what? If it is a pre specified or previously defined, if you choose it, then all the sub inventories will now become as a pre specified. Pre specified means what? We have already built the rack, the racks, Almera shelf, everything is built. So during transaction, we cannot, what happens, change the, what happens, create one more rack, or you cannot pull in one more rack and then keep the item on the rack. And it's not possible at all. So we cannot pull one more rack and then keep the item on the rack. It's not possible. Whatever is available on the inventory, you can only transact on the pre-specified action. So if it is going to be dynamic, fine. Every sub-inventory will now behave like a dynamic. If it is a pre-specified, all the sub-inventories will behave like a pre-specified. If it is a dynamic, everything will now behave a dynamic. That means what? If there is no space on the rack, we can even pull one more rack and then keep the item on the rack. But we cannot keep the item on the floor at all. Fine. Item cannot be kept on the floor. So the no control means what? There is no locator control. Pre-specified means what? We can transact only onto the existing locators. Dynamic means what? If there is no space, we can even pull in a rack and then keep the item on the rack. And then determined at sub unit level is the best level which Oracle recommends. Right? At the organization level, the system is now relinquishing the control and then giving it to the sub unit. So this is the best control. And so here we are not doing it as what? Locator control determined sub unit level. Remember, if you have made it as no control or pre specific or dynamic, we cannot make a change at all once when the transaction started. So, once when the transaction started, the locator controls cannot be changed. Fine. We have to accept it, whatever is there. Otherwise, you have to drop this org and then create a new org because we made a mistake in Dubai. 
while we are implementing it, one of my student has made it as what? No control. <clears throat> By mistake, yes, forgot me. And then the rater wanted to introduce a, a dynamic level, a determinant sub level they wanted. We made a change, it was not accepting it. And then we raised the SR, Oracle says, no, it's not possible at all. You drop this off. So out of 65 orgs, we were forced to drop five orgs and then create a new org. They were shouting like anything because of my student's mistake, actually. I told him very clearly not to do, but he has done it. He has forgotten it, actually. So these things should be taken care of because many, many things cannot be changed when the turns and the transaction starts in inventory. So you must be very cautious on this. So the this is now what happens, uh, relinquishing the control to the lower level, actually. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, is, I'm not going to create a sub inventory at a pre specified level, and then another sub inventory is a dynamic, and then this sub inventory is going to relinquish the item level. Fine. This is the best control, actually. It, it relinquishes. If possible, we can give it very well determined. That means what? If an item is going to be a pre specified, it will now, item can be kept only on the rack. We cannot pull in a rack. If the item is going to be dynamic, we can even pull a rack and then keep the item on the rack. If the item is going to have a no control, we have to keep it only on the floor, actually. So this sub inventory is basically a hybrid control where items can be kept on the rack, only on existing rack, or otherwise we can even pull in a new rack and then keep it, or keep it on the floor also. So this is a hybrid control sub inventory. Fine, that is the best one now, fine. Keeping it on the rack or floor is very much possible. So it is a three level control, fine. Org level, sub inventory level, and then item level. Is it clear? Anybody can say yes to me? Have you yes, understood it? Good then, fine. Very much clear. Yes, ma'am. Very good, fine. So the three level control. So here, item, this locator is basically a key flux field. Actually. So locator and account alias are the two key flux fields. So we are now, first of all, going to create a locator now, fine. Locator key flux field. So the one. Please watch it clearly, fine. It is a very tough one. You have to understand it very clearly. So we are now going to create a KFF now, fine. Click on it. Click on <coughs> now, sorry to ask you this, uh, whether the item is a key flex field or not? Maybe item is not a key flex field. So in e-business, there are seven key flex fields are there. Whereas in Fusion, we are having only two. One is what? Locator and then the other is a, a, a account alias. So locator and account alias are the only key flex fields as far as Fusion is concerned. Now. So click on it. I will not go there. I will not go to the what? Click on search. No. Fine. So I will now say manage. Fine. <coughs> Locator and, and key percentage. So the one. So manage a locator key flex field. So I'm going to get a key flex field. It's a key flex field. So go that one. So we'll now go on and get a structure. Fine. Whether it is going to be a financial KFF or otherwise a supply chain KFF, everything is the same concept. Now fine. We have a structure. A structure will have multiple instances, and then we have to finally deploy. But there we have a Flux field qualifier and then your segmental qualifiers are here. There are no qualifiers at all. That is a beautiful thing. Fine. We don't have any qualifiers at all. Fine. There are no qualifiers at all. So they have a flux field qualifiers, which is known as a label. And then they have a segmental qualifiers. So these two qualifiers are not there in our supply chain at all. Only two key KF of one is what? Locator. And then one is an account alias. So click on the manage structure. Let me click the structure. If anything is not understood, fine. You immediately stop and ask me. So click on it. I will say K01. And I will not say <coughs> KFO. <coughs> KFO. Because we is not a transactional one, we can give a normal name. Click on name now. And then click on the description. And the delimit is always hyphen. And hyphen is the delimit. And at this time, if you give a save, the plus symbol will be coming. So we can even get the segment. So after having given this, what happens? They give a save. So by which what happens? The segments can be created. Fine. Click on plus now. Fine. We are going to get a first segment. So go there. I will not say it's a K01 underscore row. Please don't give any excess space. And then we have, we already had a, we had a problem. Oracle refused to do it. And then at the KFF level, at the at the financial level, if you make a mistake, <coughs> they have to re-implement it. After 15 days time, what happens? Because of this mistake, we were forced to re-implement it. Actually. And then we got a heavy firing from the 15 days time is lost. actually. So that is what the customer was shouting on. So yeah, one simple space, what happens? He's not agreeing for one more, uh, what happens? This is COA at all. So you're saying that I cannot accept it. So 15 days time is lost. Time will be a very big one in the plea. So click on it. Sequence number is one. So prompt it and go that one. I don't know. Don't give any because that's why I'm now again and again giving don't give any extra space. Now. Every name it will not auto auto public. Yeah. No, we had problems and then we are unable to sort it out. I don't know. Because only financial team was uh, what happens uh, discussing with the uh, with the Oracle actually. And then they finally told that no, no, it's not possible. We had some other issues. 
so many things are gone and then they were unable to do it actually you are all watching it fine you we are not doing it they want to do so click on it and then here you use a what's called a gl set now fine click on it you now have a search now fine click on search now fine you now have one gl fine use this now, fine gl 30 characters will be there so use this one so gl 30 characters is sufficient and 20 characters are available gl 20 characters you can use it use this this comes as a seeded one now it doesn't have any labels at all labels are flex field qualifiers we don't have any labels at all fine this much is sufficient now so go that range tape must be blank actually fine my financial team has told me not to give any range at all fine the range tape is blank so display with this 20 characters fine go that so do not deviate on this one fine row and then click on save and close now fine my row is now created so click on plus i will now say rack so okay not no whatever way they name it you have to do it fine not that they, they have to name it like this now fine i am no naming it like this but you have to discuss the so it is a three three what am i saying three dimensional one so you do it now fine <laughs> k01 i will say rack nana hmm. tell me i i yeah i know we have control in the inventory org right to deter, to determine whether it will be in the sub inventory in all locator or pre something like that we will come we will doing everything you mentioned we have control in item level no 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 well, okay fine we don't get confused <laughs> i will now come to it now let us let me compare everything now fine so there are three things which has to be compared one is a serial generation one is a lot generation and then one is a locator now fine i am now going to compare everything and then show it to you now fine we'll now come to it now fine i will now compare them okay. let me first of all complete this and then i will now come to the comparison now fine abu bakar is an excellent guy thank you sir unfortunately he is not having a time but even then he is sitting <laughs> he is possibly sitting you know? <laughs> he has got some other work now fine <clears throat> he has asked all his girlfriends to come tomorrow <laughs> gl you are saying sir i am very busy today my how about the postponing the training when that god was asking me <laughs> how about you nana <laughs> <laughs> row rack Thank you. So click on save and close. No, fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. So the second one is not done. Thank you. There is no going for a bin. No, fine. It is normally known as a row rack bin, but depending upon the companies, what happens? Bin, no, fine. Click on close. Sir, what is that APA name, sir? APA is for uh, what happens? Your uh, report making actually. Fine. It, it gives a name for this. No, fine. And then even for other activities also from technical side. Fine. You have to talk to a technical guy and then they will tell you. So K zero one. I will say that I am not aware of what exactly the APA is going to do now. So take out. It's for integration, I think so now. Uh -huh, maybe integration. Right? You're saying that Oracle Integration Cloud will be using these APIs. Then what are you saying? Right? Anybody else has got any other view on this? No fine, please. Right? Is the third section? No fine. So prompt is pasting. Fine. Short prompt and pasting it. No fine. So display no, on the character. Basic right? doubt. No. It is not having segment qualifier, but in GL, if you make a mistake, it will not allow others to create, right? Uh, yeah, Here, yeah. if you make very, mistake. Very, very, very. Here it's is okay. It fine. We don't have any qualifiers. It's okay, fine. It's all easy. We can Here even modify it, man. There are so many things can be modified in the version, no fine. So supply chain is easy, fine. When compared oh. to this, right? So don't yeah. learn financials. It is very, very tough, no? <laughs> <laughs> financials is very tough. They have a segmental quality. They have a flex field quality, etc., etc. Life is really very tough, actually. Uh, no, no. He mentioned there is two KPF. Uh, one is located. One is account allies. Uh, account uh, account allies. What is that one? We will come to that. No, fine. Will we come to the topic or not? Sir, so, okay. don't go there. When we come to the topic, I'll not, I'll not show you. Two seconds, sir. So we are now seeing the first key flux. We now find GL, GL, and then I click on search. Now find search for it. I will now choose this. Now find click on OK. Click on OK. Choosing the kind of one. So click on save and close. Now we have completed all the three. Now find one. So click on save and close. So my three. In fact, what happens for man investments, Dubai? We have gone for a fourth segment also. So one is what in a row rack bin. They are now keeping the cars in the three dimensional. And then the fourth segment is for a model actually. So for every model, they will now have these three segments. So we have a four segmental key flux field for man investments in Dubai when we were implementing it. So they are car say car dealers actually. So they have for every model, uh, they will be kept in a different different bay bin basically. Right. So it is a four segmental one. So it, it may be even single segment, double segment, or three segment, or four segment depending upon the usage actually. Right? Accordingly, I'll do it. So click on save and close. We did it with a four segmental one for man investments in Dubai. Click on that. <clears throat> And then go to the vanish structure. Come and get on searches. Here, what happens? Click on it. You go there. Click on it. I'll now say it's a K zero one. I will now say uh, is a three segmental. Right? Three seg point uh, locator right? instance. So here, you exactly give them because this is what is going to come in all your transactions basically and give a proper name over here. So naming 
you have to first of all all the naming you discuss the end client and then accordingly do it now do not do anything and then the ap name you click on it the system create the ap name automatically do not fiddle around on this now click on it so click on the system so structure name go there so my cap of you know so here nothing is required actually whereas in a, in a financials they are all required here because we don't have any qualifiers at all so it is not required at all and leave it as a chain also so leave it and then click on save and close my three segmental locator instance is now getting ready fine click on save and close now no that no that now deployment here deployment will be fast actually right? deployment will be fast because it's not a big one now fine click on deploy so nana sir a question if yeah. we define multiple structures yeah 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 we can so very well use it also right? we can use every sub inventory can have zone structure actually every sub inventory can have zone structure okay deployment complete structure now i am now going to create like this now fine right i am not going to have a pre specified sub inventory now fine right let us now go there and then create it fine click on the fine i will now go to the manage sub inventories and locators now fine right now for this space i will now go to the manage sub inventories and locators <clears throat> where is the one manage sub inventories and locators The task name find over. So take it over the task name find over that part. All tasks are set up task. Remember, and they are not not trans transactions. Do not have any task name. Man. Transactions do not have any task name. So, task the set up task, and then you you must have the A C role, application implementation consultant role. Otherwise, what happens? You will not be able to set up anything at all. If, sometimes what happens? Even the consultants will not be given. Fine. There are so many restrictions in the field. No fine. Some consultants are not given. Some will be asked to do only certain things. Fine. Like that. What happens? There will be so much of a delay. So talk to Rohan. and then dr raja about the field experience now fine how you will all be having it here it is a test you are having access to everything in field what happens you will not be given security console at all because raunak is saying that what happens if i attach a role oracle uh, they have to pay oracle 900 rupees per annum for every role that is what he is saying so end customers will never allow any of the users to have the security console at all otherwise if randomly if the roles are attached then they have to pay heavily to oracle actually we just see if they have 300 users and then for every user every role you have to pay 500 600 rupees per annum very heavy money actually that is what raunak is saying fine talk to him for his practical experience he has already posted one uh, note actually on this so click on plus now fine i am already on the proper org we have to be on the org now fine or proper org ensure that you are in the proper org fine click on plus now fine i am now going to create a pre specified sub inventory fine go there is a k01 fine go there i will now say pre fine i will only write because it is not having character limitation i am now only writing pre now fine take off it fine click on the description and that more i am not putting any date and middle state will not come later and this is for what happens warehouse no point <coughs> if you have a <coughs> lock fire system then receiving will work <coughs> warehouse management system will work only on the lock fire right? so is a storage only <coughs> if anybody knows warehouse it will be because many people want to learn i don't know how to do it now <coughs> no second if you have some problem receiving is for warehouse management system it is a lock fire instance actually now the locator control we are going to do it now fine first one is what first one is what this is the one now it is going to be pre specified that means what we cannot pull a rack during transaction actually you know go there you know make it as what pre specified drop it down you know make it as a pre specified previously they put and then locator structure if you drop down what happens our structure has to come if it is not coming what to do anybody if this three segment locator sensor is not coming what i have to do now anybody If it is not coming in the list of values, what I have to do? Come on. We will have to just not it's not properly compiled. No, no, no. It's all compiled. All Deploy all it. Deploy it. That's okay. Log out. Log in. Yes, yes. Log out and log in. Fantastic. Now log out and log in. If oh. anything is not coming, you have to log out and log in. Remember. So the locator structure is the next topic. I am not going to get to that. So what is? So go there. So locator structure is this one. So the pre specified now. Log out and log in. If it is not coming, fine. Click on save and close. Fine. My pre is ready. Let me create my first Dyna. There are two Dyna which are required now. Thank you, Mark. So two dynamic controls is required for the next exercise also. Thank you, Mark. So I will now say K zero one underscore Dyna one dynamic one dynamic two. We need it for the next exercise also. tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a very tough one. A very tough one. Thank you, Mark. I will now go back to Mark. I will now locate the control is what it is going to be dynamic now. So previously previous now. So now the locate the control is going to be dynamic now. Thank you, Mark. So go there. Location also is preferable. Now, we'll now come to this topic a bit later on the location. Now, and location is important in some places. I will now come to the location a bit later. Now, and so I'll, uh, previous one also I will now go to the location. So drop it down. I will now say K zero one three segmental. Now. So it is a dynamic control. Now, and Dana one is a dynamic control. Fine. Give us even close. I will now make Dana two also. Fine. So 
So click on plus no time. Let me hope that this instance remains tomorrow also. Otherwise, I have to get everything again. Here we don't want to score. Dyna 2. <clears throat> Sir, if we have not set up this uh, uh, locator control in the organization level, this fields won't be uh, enabled, right? When, when we'll, we'll come to that. Come to that. <clears throat> we'll come to that. So go that tomorrow. This is going to be at item level now. The third one is going to be item level. This is an item level. This is an item level. So yeah, location is what? K01 and what happened? And then I not put this plan. So let me complete it and afterwards you can shoot all the questions actually. Find what happened. Calling it Dyna? It is a dynamo dynamic. If it is dynamic, then what happens is we can even pull a rack during transaction and keep it on the rack. And you cannot keep it on the floor. But you have mentioned this item level. Right? But it is a, the third one is item, item level. level. The third one is an item level. Now I'm not only doing dynamic. No, I don't want dynamic. No, 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 oh, sorry, sorry. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Control. Yeah. It's a mistake actually. Fine. Please correct my mistakes also. Please correct it. No, if I make a mistake, please correct it. Good, good, good observation. It is a dynamic. So dynamic two is the dynamic. So click on save and close. The not done. Good, good observation. So click on plus now. I'll now make it an item level. So it's a K01 underscore, what happens? Item level. LBL. It's not accepting it. Item. It's an item level. Fine. The length of the characters which you can enter, you can ask the technical team. They will now enhance the what was the, uh, length also. So locator control is going to be item level. This is item level. I will now put this one. Fine, but I have no. And then here I will now make it as what? These segment locator control. So click on save and close. The first one I have not put the location actually. Location plays a vital part. Then I, in a, I will now come to the, the fag end of it. So go there. the pre specified I have not given a locator. Control. Click on plus one. So location I forgot. So it is preferable to have a location also in the sub inventory. So you know that. Now I am not going to have two locators on this now. I am going to have two locators in the field. So keep my custom of the P and then click on the manage locators. And click on the manage locators. I'm going to have two locators there. So, so click on plus no point. So I will now say one, 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 right? one, 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 right? save and create another, <clears throat> save and create another. So I will have 11, 11, 11. I will have what? 11, 11, 11. So the type is uh, for no meaning if you are going to have only pure inventory. Now. Had it been with a lock fire, then the type becomes very important actually. For a lockware, the types are not Fine, lockware, WMS, otherwise, it's not a moment. My type is of no moment. So click on seven close by which what happens? We are not completed. It. So one and 11 are two locators on the pre specified. Fine, click on the now. Fine, I will not create what happens. You go to the Dana one and then click on the manage locators. Dana one, I mean, fine, click on plus now. Fine, I'm going to have two, 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 two. So click on save and create another 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22. So click on save and close. Now. So it is having two locators. I click on done now. And then we'll now go on and go for the Dana 2 now. So go there, click on it. So Dana 2, I'm going to go there and click on the manage locators. It is going to be 3 and 33 now. Click on plus. 3 and 33. So go there. So 3, 3, 3. Save and create another 33. Sir, actually, you are predefining it, right? I'm not creating the locators before. Fine, I'm not creating the locators before. And then these are all locators are available, but in this place, it is two and 22 are available. But if there is no space, we can even transact and then we can pull a rack and then transact it. So there will be some locators which are ready madely available before you start the transaction section. So I am now creating those things. I will now go that click on it. I will now go to the what the final one item. I will now go that click on it. Sir, and then click on the manage locators. I will now create locators. Okay, four and 44. Four and forty-four. I'm going to do. So, Nana, sir. Um, so in dyna in dynamic case, after yeah. I after I start transaction, I can create other locator. Exactly. Like you this. can very well create a locator during transaction. Okay, okay. But for previously defined, I cannot. He cannot. Very correct. Very correct. This Dubai guy is very correct now. Fine. Save and create. Mm -hmm. So go there. It is 44, 44, sorry. 44, 44. So, click on seven so we have now created these locators now. So the locators are now created actually. Now let me create an item. Let me go on and create an item. Locators are now created. So let me go on and create an item now. So I'll now go there. So click on done and then come out of it. And then I'm not going to create an item now. Fine. Please mute your mics if you're not speaking now. Fine. There's no disturbing others actually. I have now muted. So click on them. I will now create an item. Click on I'm not going to create an item. So click on it. So let us now go there and then create an item. So go to the product information management. I'm going to create an item. 
product information management. And then let me create an item now. So click on it. I'm not going to create an item. So the sixth or the sixth item, I'm not sure about it. What is the number here? Running number? Anybody remembering it? So it's a zero zero zero. Yes, it is zero zero zero. It is six. Six now. I'm going to create. It's the sixth item. I'm going to create. The sixth item. I'm creating it now. I'm going to I will not show you. Is the K0106? K0106. I will not say locator test underscore one. Locator test one. So you want to take off it and then put a description of it. So go there. I will not simply associate it. I will not simply associate it. I will not simply associate it. So go there. So K01, I am entering now. So entering, I click on apply and then click on that. And then here in the bottom, if you go on and see, there will not be any control on the item at all. If you go to the specifications and then go to the inventory and go to the inventory. The inventory will not have any control at all as far as the item is concerned. So go there. Locator restriction is no. Restriction locator is no. Stock locator control is no. But as of now, this item is not having any control at all. This is not having any control at all. It is a non-control actually. The item is having an uncontrolled. The non-control. So let us now go on and transact this item onto the table. So let's now go on that assign. The sixth item is now getting assigned. Now, fine. Are somebody is again opening the mic and then keeping it on. Now, fine. Please don't do it. Fine. Srini was ready. Fine. Keep it on now. Fine. Whenever you want to speak, you can even what happens? Uh, press your space bar and then speak it now. Press your space bar and speak it. So let us now go there and then transact it. Thank you, now go on. So go to this place. Inventory overview. And then let us now receive it. Actually, you are not going to receive it. Click on it. You are not going to receive it. So click on the create miscellaneous transaction. So drop it on, and then I will now make a miscellaneous receipt. Miscellaneous receipt. I will not take a copy of the number. So I will highlight that actually. No, I will highlight it. So I will take a copy of it. I will go there. I will now paste the account over here. Paste it. Like that. So click on yes now. I click on yes, and then I am going to. So the sixth item I am going to transact it. So it's a K zero one zero six now. So give a chance on so it's K0106 and then give a time. So click on the edit details. So go to this place. So sub inventory, I will not make it as a pre-specified now. Fine. First is what pre-specified. So go the pre-specified. So pre-specified means what? We can only transact it to your specific locator only. So now tell me locator is not coming. Now what I have to do now? Locator is not coming here now. Fine. Pre-specified means what? It must be editable actually for me. It is not editable. What I have to do? Come on, tell me. Fast, fast, fast. M level none. Huh? R, 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 R control. R level B different. No, no, no. It will be, no, no. be storing in the locator which you have defined it. No, no, no. Locator is grayed out now. Whatever I have created is not visible at all. If it is log not visible, log I have to uh, log out and log in. Fine. When something I have created is not visible, then you have to log out and log in. Remember. It is a very standard one now. Fine. You have to log out and log in now. So you should not forget this now. Fine. Whenever something is created and not visible, then immediately log out and log in. Use the solution. Restart the machine. <laughs> <laughs> no, log out and log in is okay. Restarting the machine is not there. Yeah, in this case, it's log out and log in. You click on it. <clears throat> Click on it. No, go there. So click on the create miscellaneous transaction. <clears throat> go there. So I will now go to what miscellaneous receipt. I will now paste this account. Fine. Click on it. Yes. So many a times, what happens if you log out and log in, the issue gets solved. So it's a key 0106 is the one fine. Give a tap. So click on edit now. <clears throat> go there. So the moment I put the locator, the locator has to come. Fine. Click on it. <clears throat> It is a pre specified locator. Fine, go there. I will not put the pre specified now. Now the locator is coming. Fine. So go there. So here there are two locators are there. One and 11. Fine. Click on search now. Fine. One and 11. Can I put one, two, three here now? Is it allowed? You will cancel now. Fine. No, no, no. It will not allow. Even three. It will not say Poda Ponga. It will not say because it's not possible. Now. So whatever is available can only be given now. Once again, somebody has come to the house. Why is this not there? Once again, pass the record. So if you go on and try to put one, two, three, it will not accept. You have to choose only one of them now. Right? Click on one, click on okay. 
One iPhone two, one star, two star three is possible. We can very well do it. So we can have a compound with that. I have no problem. Twenty quantities. So no, that's okay. So we can very well create a located during transaction actually. So click on plus one. Now I will not transact on the third one. No fine. Anybody can say me what locator number. So we have got two locators. No fine. Four and forty-four. Fine. How many will come for this one? This is one. This is one. I will not for the third one. How many locators will come in the list of values now? If you put the third subdivision, anybody? If you put this now, if you put Three. this, Nothing. there are two locators are there, four and forty-four. Can I see both the things or not? That is my question. Now. Should not. You should not. Why? Because Why? item level. Yeah, item is no control. Since item is having no control, we cannot see both four and forty-four at all. Had it been pre-specified dynamic, then it will be showing you. Fine. We have to keep this item only on the floor and not on the, any of the racks. We have two racks of four and forty-four. We cannot keep this item on any other racks because item is having no control now. Item having no control. So if you want, if I choose, what happens? Your item level control. Thank you, sir. So this itself, the locator field will be grayed out. It is not possible at all. It has to be kept only on the floor actually. So click on OK now. Fine. Go back to one. I will not do it. So click on submit. No, no. Try login. Log out. <laughs> no, no, no. It will not work at all. It is only once. Now, fine. Afterwards, what happens? It will not again and again. It will not work. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> what is your name? Prabhu sir. Prabhu, Prabhu is now Prabhu. Prabhu Kannan. Very good, very good. So now, you go to the manage item. Item one is, and then go there. Click on it. So K zero one zero six is the one. Fine, go there. I will not give a tab. It will be coming. Thank you. On search now, fine. You now see all the locators also shown. Thank you very much. So expand it. So you now see sub inventory. Fine. Below sub inventory, it will not show the locators. It will not show the locator. Fine. If it can't expand it, if you have a lot of serial number, also it will not show for that. You can even expand, expand, and so on. Sub inventory locator, lot serial number, everything will be shown over here on the on and on. Now let me go on and then create another item. Fine. Over. Which is going to be a pre-specified now. Thank you. I will now go to the product information management. The seventh item I am going to create now. Thank you for it. So click on create. Seventh item I am going to create. So this I am going to restrict to submit entries also. Right? This will be restricted to submit entries also. So click on it. <coughs> click on OK. I am going to restrict this item to a submit entry. Actually. So go back now. Is a K zero one. What is a K zero one zero seven? I will say. Restrict R E S T R R I C T. Restrict. I will now say sub. Restrict sub inventory. I am going to restrict to sub inventory. So restrict sub. I am going to take away a number of restrict. So go there. I am going to restrict to sub inventory. Then check on the specifications, and I am going to restrict to sub inventory also. So go to this place, and then here whatever you go there. I will now go to inventory. In this inventory, whatever I am going to change. So let us say this is a computer. So what the management is saying is that. Sub one and sub three are air conditioned sub inventories. Sub two is not air conditioned. So we have to keep this item only on sub one and sub three only. That is what the management instruction is there. So in which case we are going to enable the sub inventory restrictions. We are going to enable the sub inventory restrictions. So this item go there. Click on it. We'll now go down. So we will now restrict sub inventory is going to be yes. And then here again, what happens? I will now say stock locator control is not control. I will now say what happens is that previously specified. So two things we are adding it. Okay. So we are going to transact it only on restricted locator sub inventories as well as this can be transacted only to a pre previously specified one. Okay. That is what it is. I will now come to the locators a bit later. Okay. So on. so restrict sub inventory is on, and then the stock locator control is previously specified. Nana, no, no. yeah, tell me. Yeah. Which one will override? I mean, there is no such I... question of override. Everything is separate now. This is a separate control. This is a separate control. Now. Between inventory org and here, separate, separate. Inventory org means what? What do you mean by inventory org? Inventory org, we have predefined a sub inventory. Sorry, we have predefined the uh, yeah. no locator, etc. Right? 
one and night in level I will, i will i will finish off this topic and then i will now i will now simulate your condition okay let us now simulate yours and then see okay let us now complete this and this and then afterwards we will not try to simulate your question actually okay so no simulate so let us now please wait for some time let me let me complete restrict sub inventory restrict locators and then afterwards i will now simulate yours now okay so you know right so it is restricted sub inventory and then stock locator control is pre specified fine in this item level we are given as a pre specified and then we can transact it to only restricted sub inventories out of all you cannot transact everywhere only restricted sub inventory can transact now i am going to ask a question you have to answer it fine brother i am going to ask a question be ready for the question now so let me go there and then let me go to the associations and let me associate to the child on so go to the actions and then go to select net so let me associate to the child on so k01 and then entry now fine so i'm going to associate to child on and select it. and then click on apply and then click on done now you know that so you know that brother So go there. I will not ask anything. The seventh item is now ready with the restrict sub inventory is on, and then with the pre specified control. Thank you for seven years. Now, the question is what? When I go to the transactional screen, when I go to the transactional screen, when I go to the transactional screen, out of three sub inventories, how many sub inventories will come in the list of items? That is my question. Only one. Only one. Only one is wrong. Two. Huh? No, no sub inventories. 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 No Yeah, the thing is what when I say something, it is not okay. Man. Somebody has to do it in the system. Actually, in the system somebody has to say we can transact only here. Now, fine. Let's click on it. You know, go to the yes now. So use current item cost. Not possible. So go to this place. Item now, fine. Let's not. I don't know what K zero one zero six is the one fine. Let's have. And then if you drop down, how many will come? Nothing will come now. If you click on search. What happens? Nothing is going to come. Man, what is this here? K zero seven. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about what happened. Now, K zero one zero seven, and then what happened? Seven down. Seven down. And if you drop down, nothing will come. So we have to tell the system where and all we can transact. Then only what happens? It will go. Otherwise, what happens? Nothing will go. So as of now, since it is restricted, it is not allowing you to transact on any other subject matter. We have to tell the system where and all we can transact. We go there. So let us now go on and do it. So I will not answer now. So I will not right click and then duplicate and then go there. So let me perform that. What happens? Your restrictions actually. Okay. So click on it. We will now go to the setup and maintenance. And then we are going to say where and all we can transact. Setup and maintenance. So click on it. Try and click on search. So go there. Is that manage percentage? Sub percentage. Right? Locator percentage and then enter. So go to this place and click on it. So here in this place, what happens? We can transact. On what happens? A pre-specified. Then go back to what I will not go to the manage items of business. So manage items of business is the highest restriction in our collection. So, so click on the manage items of business. So choose the pre and then click on the manage items of business. Here I am going to specify we can transact which which items. This is the air conditioner sub inventory. So go there. So click on plus now. Fine. We can put this item. And go back to what. Go back to what. I will not go to space. Item is what K zero one zero seven. That's it. Fine. Only the remaining will be coming a bit later. On. So we are now. Putting this item, okay, on seven years. Likewise, we can even put multiple items on a subject matter. So this is one of the questions in the certification. <laughs> so okay. recently cleared, so that's the reason. I... Okay, <laughs> good, good, good. Now I am now having another question. Now, fine. If I put K zero one zero one, can we transact the item only onto this now, onto the subject matter, or can it transact anywhere? If I put K zero one zero one also over here, give a plus and then put the plus. Click on plus one. Let me put the K zero one zero one. So K zero one zero one also I'm putting it. So keep on. Now tell me K zero. Now on this sub inventory we can very well transact the what I'm saying. On this the, the seventh item we can be very well transact. The seventh item we can very well transact. It. So what about the one I added? Zero one. So because it's not. What, I can transact the zero one item only on pre or nowhere else. What is the thing? No, it's not, not uh, that item is not restricted to sub inventory, right? So it can be transacted I, anywhere. Yeah, not defined at item level. Item level, level manager. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Who is this? Who has given the answer now? 
who has given the answer? Govind, na? Tilak. No, no, no. Tilak has given the answer. Beautiful. Fine. Tilak. So, Tilak is having a good idea. No offense to that. This item, is, the zero one item is not having any sub-inventory restrictions. And then, what happens? First of all, if there is no sub-inventory restrictions, we can transact it to any sub-inventory. Remember. Excellent answer. Tilak has given a beautiful answer. Since this item is not having a restricted sub-inventory, yes, he can be transacting it to any sub-inventory. Even if you put it, what happens? It doesn't matter, actually. That is the correct answer, actually. When Tilak has given the correct answer. Or you will understand, anybody has got a doubt? This item is not having any restriction. Sub-inventory restriction is not on at all. So because of which, what happens? You can transact it anywhere. So once when it is on, then only this addition in the manager item sub-inventories will come into picture. Otherwise, what happens? It cannot come into picture. And the pre is it I possible to delete this uh, line? Which one, Jim? Possible to delete this line if we have added on line. Maybe line. you try those things. I have never tried this line. You try and then all this. Yes. I know you need to basics. Afterwards, what happens? You make all the R and D. Right? So pre and Dyna one also I'm adding it. Thank you, Madam. So those R and D you make it. Dyna one I'm adding it. Thank you. Okay, okay, Madam. I never done it actually. You make it. So go there. The K zero one zero seven. Since this item is having a restriction on. Then if this is the applicable. If the restriction is not on, whatever you put is not applicable. So if you go there, I will now go to this place, and then if you make a search, these two sub inventories will be coming. So you see, these two things are not. So this completes the sub inventory restrictions actually. So sub inventory restrictions are not completed. So sub no, no, one question. Uh, for uh, say, if, uh, I, I want to create a sub inventory where I want to keep all the expired items. Mm. So, uh, can I create such, such restrictions? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can create it and then you can enable the sub unit restrictions and look at restrictions also and then uh, keep it on this platform. And that is the place where if whenever you want to have a restriction, you have to enable the restriction as yes, section. Items restricted, and then you put it in the appropriate sub unit, we can transact only to those sub -inventory. So, okay, now, so is, is there a place where I can mention the lot status? We will uh, come after expired. the lot status is completed. What happens? You come over here, man. So let us now complete it afterwards. You reserve this question and then ask me. Let me see what what exactly your question is. I'm unable to understand your question actually. No, no. Uh, Can we restrict these sub inventories or items on user level or some role level? Phone. I don't have any standard functionality, is not like that. Standard functionality is not user level actually. Right? Okay. It's only at the sub inventory level. Users doesn't come into picture. Maybe it may be possible, but I'm not sure about that. I'm not aware of it. Okay, now next topic is what locator Nana, restrictions. Now. Can we restrict sub inventory or uh, like item? Sub inventories are restricted. In a sub inventory, we can very well transact only certain certain items actually. What do you uh, what is your question again? I'm not able to understand your question. Like again. any sub inventory can we restrict it? Like item, like no other item can we use that one. If you, okay, that is coming under uh, whatever the next topic called material status actually. Right? We can let us say a tsunami has water has entered into the sub inventory. So in that case, what happens if we want to perform a maintenance and then no transactions should be performed on the sub inventory. So we can even inactivate it for a certain time and that comes out of the material system. So during the time, what happens is you cannot perform any transactions on the particular sub inventory. Yeah. So that way you can very well restrict it. So sub inventories can be disabled for transactions also. Okay. Fine. So next topic is what we'll go there for locator restrictions. So a tube light is there. If there is a tube light, then what they say is what the tube light can be transacted only into a what? Yeah, lowermost one only. Not that many. Go to this place. Next is what? <clears throat> is that locator restriction? Tube tube lights can be kept only on the lowermost locators and not higher locators actually. So we'll now enable the locator restriction also. So let us now query the item and then we'll know what happens. Restrict it to locator. So I will now go to the star. I go to the product information management. Let me go to the seventh item. And then restrict on locators also. Restrict on locators also. Okay. We are now going to restrict on locators also. So go to this place. I will now go on the restricted locators. So go to the browse items. Let me go to the seventh item. Now. The key 0107. So click on search. Now, when you want to modify it, always go to the org level and then modify it. Right? That is the best practice. Right? Do not modify in the master at all. We have already seen the problem in the, in the revision. Right? So don't do it. Right? So majority of the attributes are only org controlled. And so what happens? You have to go to the org level and then modify it. If it is not allowing you, then come to the master. Right? That is the 
and keep on the rest of the life. If you're not allowing in the org, then come to the master. Otherwise, always open the org and then do it now. Go to the specifications. And then here, I'm going to enable the columns. Locator restrictions also. I'm going to the inventory. I'm going to the inventory. And then here, I'm not going to enable the locator restrictions. So, this one. so locator restrictions also, I'm enabling it. So, we can only transact onto the bottom most locators. Right? Sub inventory is on. So, now my question is what? When I transact on the pre, pre will be coming because we have already done the item sub inventory restriction. The pre has got two locators, one and one. Where and all I can transact now. Anybody? <coughs> locator restriction also enabled. Now, it has got two locators of one and one. Again, again, definition. Again, what? Again, we need to define which locator. Fantastic. Fine. We need to define which locators. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like under the no particular right? sub inventory for yeah. item. Beautiful. Fine. Please note down all the girls. Girls, please note down Tilak's name. Fine. He is answering it excellently. Fine. His answers are really good. I know that. So we have to still the system where and all we can uh, call for it. Right? <coughs> Otherwise, it will not allow it all. <coughs> Fine. Click on save and close now. <coughs> it is not a restrict locator is on. Now, if you go there, it will not give me any locator at all. You go to this place, what happens? It will not give any locator at all. If you go to this place, fine with that point. I will now go to the what inventory overview and then let me perform the miscellaneous reserve for this now. Fine, click on it. Will now go there, click on it. You go there, click on the create miscellaneous transaction. Fine, click on the miscellaneous transaction. Drop it down. And then miscellaneous reserve. Uh, I will now paste this one now. Fine. Click on yes. So click on plus now. Click on plus. And then the seventh item I'm going to do it. So, what am I doing? Is the key 0107 is the one? Fine with that. I will not choose the pre now. Thank you for this. I will not choose the pre. Only two will be coming. And three. And then go there. So, out of which it will now say you cannot transact to any of the locators. Fine. Go there. Click on it. You cannot transact with the fine. Click on search now. Fine. Nothing will be coming because we are not told the system where and all we can transact. So, let us now go there and wait. Go to the manager here. On the pre, what happens? I go to the manage locators. So, go to the place. No, go there. Manage items of inventory. Fine. Go to the manage items sub inventories. Fine. You choose the manage items of inventories in which what happens is you keep your cursor and then go to the manage item locators. I will again repeat now. So click on it. You have to choose this particular sub inventory, click on the manage item sub inventories, and then again, what happens is you choose the item and then click on the manage item locators. And so I say that only on 22 we can transact. I click on plus. I can transact only on 22. So go there, drop it down, and then choose it. Fine. So click on search now, fine. Both the things will be coming. So you choose whatever 11, sorry, 11 I choose. So that means what? One will not come on the list of value at all. Got it now, fine. So restrict locators is on, fine. Now, if you go and then do it now, fine, it will not show. Only 11. You go to this place and go there. Click on search again now, fine. So go there, click on it. Show segments or something like that. And click on search again. Now, 11 has to come. Fine, 11 is coming. So click on it. Look at it now, 11. And then go from the 20 quantities. That's it. So click on something. Now, uh, Abu Bakr is having one question now. Fine. I think the transaction is complete. So what he is saying is that what happens is that, uh, if you make a change at the child org level, that is what you are saying. Am I correct, Abu Bakr? Click on it. Abu Bakr's question is what? I will now go on and query it now. Fine. Abu, are you there? Or he has left? Because he is having so much of a job actually. Go there, go there, permission management. And go there. Click on the browse item. Oh God, that guy has asked some good question, but he is not there now. <laughs> K0107. I think this is question of mine. So go there. So the bottom one, if you go there, click on it. So go to the specifications. After the item is assigned and then transacted. So what he is saying is that. Can we make a change on the inventory in this place? Can we make a change? Something like that he was asking. Abu Bakr, you are there, but you are not before the mission actually. Or is it some other question? Can we remove the restriction or something like that he was asking? We can't remove the restrictions hmm. if the stock is available. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not very sure about it. So if this is the question, only you only have to order and do an R&D and do it. And again, remember, you always go to the child org and do it. Reality. Majority of the attributes are org controlled, and so whatever you had to change only in the org level and not with the master level. Okay, fine. Abu Agar is not there, even though his, his, his name is here, but unfortunately, he is very busy with his work now, actually, and office work actually. So he's not there. Now, uh, till now, whatever we have seen, we will now have a glimpse of it. Now. 
So file and then I will now have a new one. So I will now say serial generation. If somebody is asking in the group, you please answer now, fine. If it is in the group, because I'm getting ging ging message. So that I think it's not in the group actually. So yeah, separate it. Serial generation. Fine. So there are two levels of serial generation. Level. One is what? One is the org level. Org level. And then one is an item level. We can generate the serial numbers either at org level or item level. Next is what? Lot generation. Lot generation. So the lot generation, what happens if you see a lot can be generated uh, uh, again, what happens at the org level or at the item level? Both of them are same. Level. Then we'll now go for the item attributes. Right? Item attributes. Item attributes are controlled at two levels. One is what? Master level. Master level. One at the org level. So master level is known as what? MCA. There are MCA attributes. And then here, whatever you go there. So the org level is what? It is basically OCA attributes. So item attributes are followed. Then next is what? Locator control. Locator control. Locator control at three levels now. Fine. One is the org level. One is the org level. Fine. One is what? Sub inventory level. And then one is item level. Fine. So till now we have seen four such complexities actually. I will now save it. I will now save this DB level. So uh, I will now I will go there. I will now go to the Oracle SCM training. I will now go to the fusion mix documentation. I will now call it as what control levels. Control levels. And then afterwards, I will now upload it into the driver. Control levels. Likewise, what I was every, every program in the So you might have found that these things itself is tough now. Fine. From now onwards, it is not going to be so. Now, now onwards, it will be very tough now. <laughs> so can you explain, uh, can you explain us the uh, over it? Uh... Details in. What can you explain as the overwrite uh, details? Like uh, if I set override. up in the item level, org level, which one will go You see, org level, fine. that means what we can serial generation is org level. It is not an item level. A serial number is what? Serial number generation is what? Uh, org level means what? It is a Tata or Birla. Or it is a, going to be common for all the items actually. And then if you change it from that time onwards, it will now behave like whatever is going to pick up from item or from org. So it is basically prospective in nature. It is not retrospective. It is prospective in nature. So whenever you change the control levels of serial generation and log level, log generation, from that time onwards, it will not pick up either from the item or from the on. If you make a override. Right. Whereas item attributes, what happens? You normally don't change at all. Right? Do not touch this at all. Right? The Oracle has not defined it fully. So if it is a master level, so item attribute can be changed only at the master level. If it is the org level, we can change it at both the levels basically. And it is always what happens if it is org control. When you want to change an attribute, you have to go to the org and then change it. And not at the master. Clear on this now, fine. Whereas locator control, if it is going to be pre-specified or dynamic at the org level, so these two things will not even work at all. At the org level, if you say determine at sub inventory level, then what happens? It will be coming. And then if you say determine at item level, it will be getting relinquished. So the control is now getting relinquished lower and lower. That is what it is. Any other questions you have? Fine. Whether I have answered the question or not, I am not very sure about it. Fine. <clears throat> Good then. Fine. With this, we complete our locator controls, sub inventory restrictions, and then locator restrictions. I hope that is clear. Good then. Fine. Let me go on and stop this record, and then I will now go to the material status control, which is going to be the last topic of the day. Fine. Let me stop it. So we are going to go to the final control. Any doubts on the locator control? Anybody has got any doubts? Good then. So nobody is having any doubt. Tilak is answering beautifully. Fine. Excellent, excellent perception. Fine. Tilak, you are already working on uh, some projects or what exactly is? Beautifully answered. No, no, no. I, I, this is similar in EBS. Oh, 
So he has a similar control function. What happens? The answer things. Good then, fine. So note down Tilak's uh, contact numbers. Fine, Tilak, have you updated your name on the WhatsApp so that people can uh, easily identify you? Actually. Yes. All of you, please update your names. Yes, WhatsApp. Yes. Otherwise, what happens? It will be difficult for others to identify it now. Fine. So let me stop the record and then I will now stop another record. Start another record for material status control.